Hey, I want to I want to record something here. This is kind of like the ferry boat. You can take a ferry boat uh, and be on a ferry boat for a couple days. Literally, you can uh, like a, a cruise, but you're on a ferry boat. Uh, so you can spend a couple days on the ferry boat in a hammock. You get here early enough, and you can uh, uh, hang a hammock. You can hook a hammock up to one of these uh, holds and stretch stretch it out. You can see, stretch your hammock out and literally just lay in your hammock for two, three days as you're traveling up the Amazon River. So each floor is designated for a specific quantity of passengers, right? 120, 127, and even the uh, weight can be carried, right? Okay. Uh, the bottom of the boat has a kind of line, which is considered the limit line. So it can carry weight until that line. If overpass that line, the boat wants to come back to Manaus, take some part of the load, the the, the, the pack, right? To be that right wow. Can we see some of the hammocks? Do we go upstairs? Let's go upstairs. Or? Okay, let's just go upstairs. Now, walk with us. We're walking now only. We actually on the ferry boat. Uh, uh, so we're on the ferry boat now. Let me just show you some. So we're gonna walk upstairs. I want you to walk with me. So uh, we're gonna walk up these stairs on the ferry boat. I just want you to stay with me as we make our way upstairs in the ferry. All right, senor. All right, senor. As you can see as we, ah, Jesus, make our way up after duck, I'm 6'8", so I'm literally walking uh, bent down as I'm walking through here. And so you can spend two, three, four days just traveling upon the Amazon River and putting up your hammock and just uh, staying here. So they have showers and restrooms in the back. As you can see further uh, down the walkway, you have showers, uh, bathrooms in the back where you, uh, individuals can go and use the bathroom. Notice there's no privacy, so you're here in the hammock and it's about 100, it's about 105 degrees now with humidity. And so uh, I can feel that temperature even now. And so good thing we have the water here. Have, as the boat is moving, you can feel the fresh air uh, moving. I can feel the air blowing now too as we're moving. But as you go inside the ship, uh, you can feel the humidity and feel the heat. So let me just lean outside a little. I'm sticking my head outside the boat a little, just looking over the edge uh, as I'm looking outside of the the boat now and just looking to see what's happening here so this is a, a beautiful uh, place there's so many beautiful people that I've met so far just to have some good food and just uh, meeting some amazing people I've have a tra I have a translator so I'm not really fresh in, in uh, speaking the language however I know a little Spanish but of course the Spanish is, has some similarities uh, but you know it's in Portuguese so uh, say, they say hola, uh, it's e either oi, they say oi, and instead of saying adios for goodbye, it's ciao, um, abaga, or abrogado for thank you instead of gracias, and so uh, just similarities, but a lot of differences. But this is a beautiful place, some beautiful people, some amazing, uh, some truly amazing food. The restrooms are back there, some, some, yeah, yeah. So, how do you say, uh, can you translate what I'm saying? Uh, say it in, in Portuguese. Uh, Portuguese? There, yeah, you say in Portuguese. I'll say English. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of beautiful people here. Muitas bonitas pessoas. Great food. Comida boa. Uh, just remarkable place to visit. E um lugar inesquecível para visitar. And uh, it's great hikes on the Amazon. Uma experiência única na Amazônia. Uh, just in a great place to uh, venture out and see Brazil. Uma grande aventura pelo Brazil. Ah, uh, obrigado, senhor. <laughs> All right. Oi, senhor. Oi.